I'm going to run down the different knitting needle types, different materials used in knitting needles, different knitting needle sets that you can buy. And this is meant to be an overview because I get so many questions from beginning knitters who don't understand why we have all these different things available and what should they buy. They're just trying to make a good choice for themselves, but they have no idea what the different things are. So I have a bunch of needles here um, representing different brands of needles just to explain what the types are. Again, not a review just an explanation of the types. So when we're talking about knitting needles, we're talking about uh, basically three different kinds. You have straight knitting needles that have a stopper on the end and a pointy part at the, at the other end. We have double pointed needles that are sharp on both ends and come in a set of four or five. And then we have circular knitting needles that are uh, short needles with a, a cord between them. They're attached with a cord between them. <laughs> I think that was clear. And <clears throat> the different needles are used for different things. When you think of knitting or you know you see a picture of knitting, this is what you see, the straight needles like this, right? And a lot of people still use these needles. I'll say that most people that I know use cir circular needles for just about everything. These are good for knitting a flat piece, but you can also knit a flat piece on circular needles. And if you if that is confusing to you, I will go ahead and give you a link to my video called Using Circular Needles, which explains both knitting a tube and flat knitting. So straight needles are good for flat pieces. Um, not a lot of people use them anymore, mainly because when you're knitting, um, when you're knitting, say, a blanket, it's a flat piece, but when it starts to get heavy, and there's kind of a lot of it, it's more comfortable to use circular needles and have the weight sitting in your lap rather than out on, on the ends of these sticks. It's less fatiguing to, um, to your hands. So then circular needles, you can knit a flat piece, just like I said, and they also come in a lot of different lengths so that you can knit a lot of different tube sizes because we can have little tiny tubes to, that become socks and mittens, or we can have medium-sized tubes that become baby sweaters or adult sweaters or sweater for a Volkswagen. I don't know. You can knit any size tube as long as you have a long enough cord with circular needles. Um, the last kind are double pointed needles and you use these, you make a triangle out of them and you can knit small circumference tubes. And I can't do it right now. I don't have enough hands. You knit small circumference tubes using either three or four of these um, with an empty needle in your hand and knitting off of them. And if you're curious about that, I'll go ahead and give you a link to my DPN video or one of them that makes a lot of sense. So those are the different types of needles. Let's go ahead and talk about the different needle materials. Um, there are a bunch. I'm gonna cover the basics. We have bamboo, wood, and metal. And I'm gonna start with the least slick. Bamboo is what I would call the stickiest. Let me go ahead and put these DPNs away. And I have a bamboo needle set here from Addy. Really nice needle set. Bamboo needles are probably most appropriate for someone who's a newer knitter, who's having um, uh, problems with stitches falling off the end of the needles because maybe you're kind of a loose knitter. This is a way these needles have a little more grip to them and so it's going to hang on to those stitches. These are also good if you have some hand fatigue or some mobility issues. It's going to help those stitches stay on the needle and not slip out. I just did a shot a video using bamboo double pointed needles which I love because they don't slide out of the work and I um, that's important when you have a bunch of stitches on the needle. This is an Addy set, Addy bamboo set. The next kind of needle are wood. And wood is a great all-purpose set. I'm actually totally stuck on, on uh, I mean, ask me my favorite needle today. I'm going to tell you it's Knitter's Pride Ginger, but it might be something different tomorrow. It's just what I'm using today. Knitter's Pride Ginger are wood needles. They are highly laminated, so they're still pretty fast. They have a pretty sharp point to them. Um, they're not as fast as metal needles, but they're faster than bamboo. Like I said, great all-purpose needles. Even if I don't know how someone's knitting and they ask me what kind of needles they should buy, I always tell them, start with wood. <laughs> Get a wood set, and then if you want something else, ask for it for Christmas or your birthday or something. It's, it's, it's what I would recommend for a lot of people. And the last kind of needles are metal needles. And I have a set here. 
The metal needles are normally chrome plated or nickel plated and they are meant to just be fast. This is the Knitter's Pride Platina set. If it says anything, Addy has a set out called Turbos, which is, says everything about what these kind of needles are meant to be. They're meant to be really slick and fast so you can just slide stitches along and work them. And a lot of times with the chrome sets, you're gonna get really sharp points. And that this just says experienced knitter all over it, which is, an experienced knitter isn't going to stab themselves or split a lot of stitches with sharp points or they're going to be experienced with knitting lace. This is a great all-purpose set. Um, most everyone I know who's an experienced knitter really enjoys metal needles. Maybe not for everything, but they do enjoy them because of the speed you get when you're, when you're working with them. Now, I wouldn't recommend these for brand new knitters or knitters who are loose knitters who are having problems with stitches falling off. You probably want to stick with bamboo or metal, which is great. We have something for everyone. Okay, I already talked about circular needles and how the cord lengths make a difference in the size of tube, but now I want to talk about different needle sets because that's the other big question I get from people. It's like, I want to invest in a set, and I always tell people, when you can, when you're ready, do invest in a set. There are so many things to choose from depending on what you need and what you're looking for. If you have it narrowed down to something that you think you want to actually make the investment, because needle sets can be well over $100. You don't want to go into it blindly. But if you have it narrowed down to maybe one or two needle sets that you want to invest in, go ahead and buy a single set of needles, a single pair of needles in that same set. Give them a try. Try before you buy. Make sure that you like them. So that said, needle sets are a great way to go. But, um, well, let's just talk about some of the different sets. I'm going to put these away while I have this open. This is a straight needle set. We don't see a ton of these, but they exist. And if you are a straight needle knitter, this needle, straight needle knitter. Yeah, I said that right. Um, this has, is a wide range of sizes. This is Knitter's Pride Ginger. So there are straight needle sets. Um, not a lot of flexibility with them. It just, you just have a lot of sizes. And then what am I doing here? Oh, like what, what I showed you here with this Addy set, you have the needle tips and it comes with a bunch of different cord lengths. And so you can attach the cord length that you need for the knitting that you're doing. So you can attach a cord to make 24 inch circulars or 32 or, th or 30. And this, this set actually has an extra piece so you can connect two cords together. Um, that's the convenience of having a knitting needle set is you have all the sizes and you can have the cord length that you need. And so let's break that down a little further, like which, like at what, what length of, of circular needles should I get? I can attach a cord to anything, but what should I get? Okay, this is where things get crazy because we have so many new products out right now. Oh, I can just throw this in. Double pointed needle set. <laughs> Has the sizes, not nearly as confusing as circular needle sets. Okay, so the Addy set that I just showed you is an all purpose, set for making needles from like 24 to 40, 60, however long you want. Then we get into some specialized things. Like this is a Knitter's Pride Zing set that has little short needles. And these are meant to make 16 inch circulars, which are great for hats or baby sweaters. Really the greatest thing for hats. I love knitting hats. And this set has the needle tips and then the cords and everything to put them together so you always have the right size that you need. Um, and there are a lot of 16 inch circular sets. Question I get all the time, can I attach a longer cord to the shorter needle to make a longer needle? Absolutely yes. You can buy whatever brand, pretty much their cords will fit all of their needles. So if you have Addy or Chiao Gu or Knitter's Pride, um, just buy the cords for, from that company and it'll fit on all of their needles. So you can attach longer cords to something like this. Now that said, I'm, I'm fine with it. Most other people, I will say, like the longer cord, like, like the longer needles, the feel in their hands, and they don't like the feel of the shorter 16 inch, the, the, the needles that are appropriate for 16 inch circulars. <laughs> I think they end up being just, you know, well, I can actually look at this. It looks like they're about three and a half inches long, <clears throat> which is like a sh an inch shorter than other needles. So yes, 16 inch circulars. I'm not telling you what to buy because uh, there's so many options. I'm telling you what all these different things mean, right? And then this set, 
This is a Chiao Gu set of, of interchangeables with a lot of different sizes. This goes from US 2 up to US 15. And this is a short set that will actually make 16 inch circulars, but it has the cords for all of it. So Chiao Gu is just assuming that you want to make all of the different cord lengths out of even their needles that are kind of short. Now getting into a couple of other things. This is almost the cutest thing in the world. Chiao Gu, as far as I know, as far as filming this, is the only company that is making, this is a needle set, if you want to believe this. This tiny little thing is a needle set. Um, they're the only ones who have mastered the tiny screw tip join, right? Um, this is a size, US size 000 or 1.5 millimeter. And the reason that we haven't had circulars, uh, interchangeable circulars up to this point is because this is so tiny, this joint is so tiny and precise, and they figured it out. So this is an interchangeable set that goes from 000 or 1.5 millimeter up to 2.5 millimeter. And this is the whole needle set right here with the cords and everything else. It's brilliant. Okay, I have a few more weird things to show you. This is another, another Chiao Gu set. And this is the first set that I've seen that has really short needles. Really little teeny tiny short needles. I'll put it against my shirt so you can see how tiny they are. This makes, these make nine, 12, and 14 inch circulars. And I think we'll probably see more companies coming out with these. And here's the whole little set. So many new things. And the last thing that I didn't show you before I get into two other weird things is nine inch circulars. These are circulars uh, with very, very short needles. Not everyone likes them because they are a little bit harder to work with, or it takes some practice at least, but it's great for knitting socks and mittens and other things. And a, a variation on that, something that I just now got my hands on, just this, these came in the mail yesterday. These are called Addy Easy Knit, and I haven't tried them yet because they just came in the mail. I think these might be called Sock Wonders in, in Europe, but they're nine inch circulars where one of the needles is longer than the other, so that it's a little bit easier to hang on to. You put the longer needle in your right hand and you start knitting I'm excited to try these. This is really innovative. Um, the tips on these are typical Addy tips. And then the last weird thing I have to show you in this massive rundown <laughs> of knitting needles is um, what I have here are Haya Haya flyers. These are, um, I have a video out on Addy flexi flips. These are short needles in a pack of three with uh, a cord between them. And if you are, totally wondering how these work, I will give you a link to my Addy Flexi Flips video. As far as I know, these Haya Haya needles just came out. They haven't been out very long. These just came in the mail as well. I haven't tried them. The difference between these and the Addies is the Addies have one end is the blunt Addy tip. The other end is the Addy lace tip. It's sharp. The Haya Haya flyers, both ends are very sharp. But they, they're really nice needles. I'm sure they work just like the Flexi Flips. Okay, that was me talking for a long time about knitting needles, an overview of so many things <laughs> there are available. I haven't helped you pick, I know, but I hope that I've helped you pick the kind of knitter that you are and maybe the kind of needles that will suit you. Anyway, I hope this helps. Good luck.